Jesus. Oh my! Here are some more movies featuring incest between brother and sister. Angels and Insects. William Addison is a naturalist married to the wealthy Eugenia. William is called from a hunt in which he finds that Eugenia is having sex with her spoiled brother's Edgar. Let's just say it has been going on for a long time. Oh! And Beautiful Kate is set in the outback of Australia and dives into the past of a young man, a writer by the name of Ned, who's about to get married to his beautiful fiance Tony. Tony finds out while Ned is visiting his father that Ned had sex with his dead sister well long before she died. The viewers, of course, watch the past of Ned and Kate and it seems we get this sick male fantasy of a strong-willed sister who wants sex from her brother. And of course, white, liberal, pretentious people love this film and of course, because, well, they're perverts. Stinky family, Nettie. Blood is a Canadian effort into the forbidden territory. Chris Terry is pretty much a recovering drug addict who visits visits his prostitute sister only to be asked to have a threesome with one of her clients. The House of Yes. Finally, we have to mention House of Yes, a wonderful Thanksgiving movie based on the play of the same name. The film introduces Parker Posey to the Aaron Spelling world. She has the funniest lines in the movie. The movie is wild to say the least about the film and again does not give white people a good standing in the human race, especially to the males who fell in love with Parker in this film and the many who had a Kennedy fetish after watching the film. You are officially a better person than us. Who knows why writers write films like this? Pancakes. Pancakes. But it seems that incest movies get awards and praise. People make fun of action films and their believability, but to write a situation where a brother is attracted to a sister is harder for me to believe. Who's your daddy?